Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you something that I call chore charts. And I made these chore charts to let my kids know what they need to do during the day and to be able to hold them accountable for the things they need to get done. So these chore charts, I laminated them and that way we can use dry erase markers to check off the boxes and erase every day. I also put them on a clipboard and used little stick-on hooks to hang them. Alright, let's take a look. Here are the chore charts and as you can see I have two on top and two lower. I have them on the side of my fridge and as I was saying I use these stick-on hooks. These can support up to two pounds for each one and then I bought a clipboard from the Dollar Tree. The boys have the plaid and the girls have cupcakes. And then I printed this off and I laminated it and then that way my kids can use dry erase markers and check the boxes as they get things done. So I'm going to go over it. This is some of its pretty basic things that are just expected of you each day. And this way my kids can come look at their chore chart and they say, oh, I need to do, I need to get dressed, I need to brush my teeth, brush my hair, etc. So I have basic things like get dressed, brush teeth, brush hair, make bed, pick up their rooms. And then I have what we call a zone. I have my house separated into different zones. And um, this child, Novian, his zone is the dining room. So what that means is that throughout the day, he'll try to keep that area picked up and clean. And then they have a chore. So chores can range from multiple things. So it could be table wiping the table and chairs after meals. It could be washing the dishes. It could be um, dusting or sweeping or taking out the garbage. I try to base chores on their skill level and their age because obviously you want your chore to be age appropriate for your child. Then we have school and then homework or read. So I homeschool. So after homeschool, they'll get to check that off. And then for homework or read, I'm going to have them read either 20 minutes on a school day or sometimes I'll give them a homework sheet. And the homework sheet I will actually clip onto the clipboard underneath this so that way when it's time to do their homework they can take the sheet off and do that. I have water written down here and then I have three cups. So I require my kids, um, all of them, to drink at least three cups of water during the day instead of just juice all day. They have to drink three cups of water so then they'll mark each cup as they drink it. Now also you may see a day written on everyone's chore chart except for the two-year-olds. I made one for my two-year-old. Her zone and chore is always a helper right now because she's a little too young to do much. Um, but the days are there specific days what we're doing for the day is whatever day the child has that is their day so they get to pick their spot at the table they get to pick maybe what color plate they use or if we drive somewhere what radio station we listen to or um, when we eat ice cream they get to pick the show we watch with it just different things like that that way everybody gets a turn and I've noticed it does eliminate a lot of fights such as I want to sit here at the table well it's this person's day they get to pick or I have them pass out the silverware simple things like that for the day um, and then as I said before you just check it off with your erase markers and then you can erase it at the end of the day now these chore charts have been working very well for our family and I really like them because it lets the kids know what they need to get done. And they don't really need my help to tell them, hey, you have to go do this. They can look at their chore chart and know that that's what needs to be done for the day. Now, I created these chore charts to not only hold my kids accountable, but also because I want to set them up for adulthood. So if they don't have chores, how are they going to know how to clean a table or wash a dish or any of that when they get older. They won't know how to do it because they've never done it before. So I feel that chores are very important to teach the kids and set them up for adulthood. I have a chore chart for all my children, two and up. So 
So starting two years old, they'll get a chore chart and a clipboard. And I put the younger ones on the bottom so they're able to reach their chore charts. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.